This is literally everything confirmed and coming in Season 4 for Warzone and Modern Warfare 2. I'll be covering in detail Vondal, which is the exciting new map for Warzone and DMZ, the new operators, new weapons, new maps, and game modes that are coming at launch, and there's a ton more cool stuff to go over. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and leave a thumbs up to show support. Let's begin. Welcome to Warzone 3, where you'll be introduced to the exciting map called Vondal. As a medium-sized map, Vondal offers a variety of game modes, such as Resurgence, DMZ, and the Lockdown. Down LTM right from its launch, along with a standard Battle Royale mode available throughout Season 4. Vondal's size falls between El Masra and Ashika Island, providing ample space for up to 18 operators in DMZ and 72 operators in Resurgence game modes. Vondal is densely packed and has urban streets and canals, as well as larger structures that can be thoroughly explored both inside and outside. Exciting parkour routes and numerous hidden secrets await discovery as you traverse the map. Vondal boasts 15 distinct points of interest, let's go through them now. A medieval castle with historical roots dating back to the Saxon times, an abandoned zoo, a Greek revival style city hall, and a soccer stadium currently hosting an epic paintball tournament finale. Additionally, you'll find densely packed townhouses, cozy alleyway cafes, and various other strategic locales to explore and exploit for tactical advantage against your opponent. One of Vondal's defining features is its unique topography and access points, which revolved around its intricate canal system. In addition to different road types and bridges, you can dive into the water surrounding Vondal's islands and city streets, and even drive watercraft and the all new amphibious vehicle to navigate this tight cityscape effectively. This adds an extra layer of dynamic gameplay for you guys and strategic options for you to explore in your quest for victory in the Battle Royale mode and DMZ also. Along with this, Vondal introduces several exciting features and game modes. One of the notable additions is the Lockdown mode, inspired by the Hardpoint mode from Multiplayer. In Lockdown, squads compete to capture and hold zones around the map instead of aiming to be the last squad standing. Allows for custom loadouts right from the start, giving players the freedom to choose their preferred weapons and strategize accordingly. Another mode coming to Vondal is Resurgence, which carries over the core rules and gameplay from Ashika Island and Rebirth Island from Modern Warfare 1 in 2019. To enhance match quality and pace, two new features are introduced. We have Dynamic Resurgent Timers and The Vengeance Icon. The Dynamic Resurgent Timers adjust squad timers if one or more squad members disconnect, providing a fair playing field for your team. The Vengeance Icon indicates the direction of the opponent who eliminated a squad mate, helping players track down the enemies for revenge. Now, some new and exciting stuff are coming to DMZ also. DMZ missions receive updates in Vondal, including the introduction to the forward operating base, which serves as a centralized hub for communications and operator upgrades within DMZ. It offers very upgrades across four categories stash weapons locker bounty board and communication station completing urgent missions in the fob allows players to earn faction reputation unlock story missions and expand their dmz elements such as contraband stash and wallet capacity also vondel brings the addition of dynamic fog a new feature that adds atmospheric immersion into the gameplay during certain weather conditions, fog may roll in and affect visibility to all players and require the players to adjust their combat strategies accordingly since they can no longer see properly. Now, in terms of vehicles, the Tactical Amphibious Vehicle, the TAV, is introduced also. And this is a versatile four-passenger vehicle and can travel both on land and water, making ideal for navigating Vondel streets and canals. Guys, honestly, that sounds epic. And additionally, there are new event unlocks such as a favorite supply blocks that grants players their preferred weaponry and the reinforcement flare that allows squad mate redeployment. There is so much stuff guys going on here that this video, I don't even know how long it's going to be, but it's packed with information. So you might need to write some things down or maybe not. Just come back and watch the video. Give me some more views. Thank you. But anyway, a new public event called High Stakes offers double weapon and play XP when captured, providing an excellent opportunity for ranking up quickly. And taxi cabs on the canals serve as a self-piloted transportation option in Vondal, allowing players to navigate the city's extensive canal network. Now let's move over to El Masra, another map in Warzone which is receiving updates, including the removal of Sandstorm and the addition of Sandbanks, that offer alternative approaches to key buildings. Now in the mid-season reloaded update for Season 4, it will bring further additions such as a Vondal Battle Royale mode, a subterranean gulag, and the return of the Occupation Scan public event. These updates and features make Vondal an exciting and dynamic addition to Call of Duty Warzone, offering new gameplay experiences and opportunities for players to showcase their skills. Now let's move over to Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer, which is bringing a range of exciting updates and additions to its multiplayer experience in Season 4. At launch, you guys can expect six new multiplayer maps, including Showdown, Kunstanar District, 
Masado or Makedo, the penthouse Mawazam Marsh, and the Akhtar village. I probably butchered all those names, but anyway, you can see the images and names on screen. Additionally, a new core multiplayer map called Vondel Waterfront will be introduced in the mid-season update for Reloaded in Season 4. Now, Search and Destroy and Prisoner Rescue modes are expanding to a 12v12 for a limited time, offering players more intense gameplay with larger teams. And in addition to this, a new ranked season is also on the horizon, allowing players to aim for top division and unlock cool ranked rewards as usual. And I know a lot of you are excited for ranked play, so we'll talk more about that in a bit. And now let's talk about the new event, which is going to be ranging from June 14 to July 7th. This is the Assault on Vondel launch event. You can participate in this by completing challenges and earning medals for personal rewards and contributing to the community medal count. Unlocked features include taxi boats and tramways, reinforcement flare field upgrade, your favorite supply box, and the new Tonfa melee weapon. But that's not all that's coming in season four. We have five new operators which will be introduced, including Nikdo, a masked ex cover agent who leads a special forces group in Vondel. You can get him at tier 100, as well as four other operators include Lo, Anna Vega, Izanami, or aka Izzy, and Butch. Farah will also receive a new operator skin on completing Raid Episode 4. Let's talk about that more in a bit. So we have five new operators, but we also got four new weapons. The Tempest Razorback Assault Rifle, the ISO 45 SMG, the Tonfa melee weapon and the redacted shotgun in mid-season update. It's redacted because the name is unknown, but these weapons offer diverse gameplay options for players to experiment with. It's gonna be epic guys, I can't wait. Okay, as promised, let's move over to ranked play. Multiplayer and Warzone ranked play will have new seasons, new rewards, which will include weapon stickers, blueprints, charms, decals, loading screens, and weapon camos. And as usual, the top player on the ranked leaderboard will receive a unique calling card and emblem. So with these updates and additions, Modern Warfare 2 Season 4 promises an exciting and action-packed experience for players to enjoy, but we're not done yet. Let's move over to prestige levels, where you can prepare yourself for the next level of prestige in Call of Duty. With the launch of Season 4, the prestige rank cap will increase from 13 to 17, and this will allow you guys to reach a maximum level cap of 850. I'm still on like 250, so I don't know where you guys are going with this, but each of the four new prestige ranks and 200 levels will be accompanied by a unique icon next to the number. Let's go through them right now. So, Prestige 14 can be unlocked at level 700, Prestige 15 unlocked at level 750, Prestige 16 unlocked at level 800, and Prestige 17 unlocked at level 850, marking the maximum level achievable in Season 4, and players who've reached this Prestige rank will also receive an exclusive weapon blueprint. You guys think we're done there? Uh-uh, I don't think so. I said this is literally everything coming in Season 4. Let's continue. So it's important to note that each prestige rank you have unlocked so far, along with the additional prestige ranks available to start of season four, will unlock a new set of challenges. And also your progress will not be reset at the beginning of each season, like usual. You can continue ranking up from where you left off in season three. So whatever your level right now, you'll keep on going from then. So keep an eye out for the upcoming patch notes, which will be released by the Call of Duty Studios prior to season four launch on June 14th or subscribe to the channel and check out my new update video right before we release the uh, season four. But if you don't want to, that's all good. Just leave a like in the video and check out the official Twitter account because they've just made a new one at COD updates is now available. And this Twitter account is for Call of Duty to release patch notes, updates, live game issues, fixes, and more. So make sure to follow at COD updates on Twitter to stay informed. Or as I said, subscribe to the channel, baby. Come on, come on. I know you want to. But for those that are interested in Call of Duty League championships, the 2023 championship is from June 15th to 18th, and it has a prize pool over $2 million. This is set right after season four is released for three days. So if you're interested in that, check out Twitch streams and YouTube streams for the uh, Call of Duty championship and tell me in the comments which team you want to win. So guys, as promised, that was literally everything confirmed and coming to season four for Warzone and Modern Warfare 2. I'll be streaming a countdown to the new season, so make sure to subscribe so you guys can come hang with me until season four drops. Please leave a thumbs up on the video also. Thank you very much for watching. Watching Joey Rams out.